Hi everyone, Jonas here. Today we're gonna start working with those awesome clips that you've just shot. Today's topic is video editing basics. So one of the most common questions Rob and I get when, from people starting out shooting video is what editing software to buy. And as much as I wish there was just one program I could recommend to everybody, it is not that easy. There's so much to choose from. Depending on what project you're working on, how many fancy features you're gonna need, definitely how much time you have to learn the program and not to forget, of course, your budget. Most computers that you buy today are gonna come with some sort of free editing software, video editing software. Uh, PCs come with something called Movie Maker, uh, Mac computers come with iMovie, but you're probably soon going to realize that you want something a little bit more powerful when you start getting into filmmaking for real. And as much as I would like to go into all of these programs, we're obviously not gonna be able to do that, but I'm gonna focus on two commonly used programs in the industry. Final Cut Pro, which is a Mac-based program only, and Adobe Premiere, which is a part of the Adobe package, and it can be used both on Macs and PCs. So I'm gonna take a quick look at these, compare them, and I'm gonna give you some of my favorite features with both of these programs. All right, let's get started. So if we take a look at both Final Cut and Adobe Premiere, we can see that they share a lot of similar features. They have the timeline where you put all of your clips into a sequence and then essentially making your video. And you have some kind of a project folder here where you can put all of the assets that you work with, uh, graphics, video, music, anything that you're gonna include into the timeline in your project. And then in one way or another, they have different features where you can do all of your changes, color correction, audio, that kind of stuff. The layout is somewhat similar, but also kind of different. I'm gonna start with Final Cut here. One of my favorite features with Final Cut is the ability to take a long clip and then highlight little segments of that clip that you can go back to. Basically, you're adding favorite snippets out of that longer clip. So let's say Rob and I shoot an interview and we just let the camera roll to get the, uh, the person that we're interviewing kind of to loosen up. That's a lot of footage to go through afterwards. And what I like to do then is I just take that whole clip and I just scroll through it, find little segments that I like in segments that I think I'm gonna go back to and add to the video later. I go in and I just highlight those segments and I favor them. That will give them a little color label on the long clip. And then I know that right there at that segment is a piece that I've listed as one of the pieces that I might wanna use in the final video. Perfect. Adobe Premiere has a similar feature. You can go in, take a long clip and you can create sub clips of that long clip. Uh, basically, it's like you have a big cake and you cut a small section out and you take that and you put it into a separate bin. Um, I think it's uh, a little bit harder to work with. I love the way Final Cut has figured this out. Uh, it just makes it really easy for me. One of the other things that I like about Final Cut uh, that I know some people actually complain about even is what they call a magnetic timeline. It basically allows me to add clips into the timeline and everything after that clip in the timeline kind of shifts right. If I'm editing late at night, I'm really tired and I'm just keep adding clips, it's not gonna overwrite anything that I've already done. So it's just gonna push everything to the right, which is really helpful. There's ways to set this up in Adobe Premiere as well, but I also noticed that the default setting is that once you start adding clips there, there is, a, I think, a higher risk that you will overwrite footage that you already put in the timeline. I know I've done that several times and I, I just couldn't figure out what I put things or uh, maybe the audio track of a clip that I've added has covered up the audio track of, of another clip that I've had and it just, it's been really frustrating at times. One of the things that really speak for Premiere, I think, is how it communicates with all of the different programs in the Adobe package. Graphics, for example. It's so awesome how you can send a clip from the timeline straight to Adobe After Effects, do your graphic stuff, and it will automatically update into uh, the Adobe Premiere timeline. Another example is how you can work with, for example, audio in the other program uh, in the Adobe package called Audition. And say I want to reduce noise. Um, big eyes, so they're like active um, hunters, active foragers. Just send a clip to Audition. I can go up here, just select a part of the audio. These are basically the frequencies that I want to take out. And I use that audio print and I apply it to the whole clip and it will reduce those frequencies. Super easy. And the adjustments will be made straight into the timeline in Adobe Premiere. Um, big eyes, so they're like active. Um, hunters, active foragers. Everything is kind of right there already. 
extremely powerful tool. Uh, so that is definitely a big plus with Adobe Premiere. Another big difference, I think, with uh, both of these programs is how Final Cut has added a lot of plugins and uh, kind of automated features. And basically, it allows me to quickly add different effects to the video clips. A lot of people think this is a little bit of a cheating, it's not the, you know, the art, you're not creating the color uh, profiles yourself. But it does also allow you to manipulate and change a lot of these settings to your liking. When it comes to color correction, Premiere has a really awesome kind of feature. You go up here, it's a separate tab for color correction and color changes. It's called Lumetri. The way it's structured is very similar to, say, Adobe Lightroom, which is something I'm familiar with. I'm editing a lot of my photos in Lightroom, and it makes this process pretty, pretty simple and pretty streamlined, which is great. There are most likely going to be features that you want to add to your videos that are not built into the programs. Uh, for that, you can buy plugins, uh, extra kind of external features, external uh, effects and stuff that you can drag and drop into the programs, like uh, Light Race, for example. Check this out. I think this is a really cool feature that I like to add. And these plugins are usually available both for Final Cut and Adobe Premiere. Uh, I find the ones that you can get for Final Cut first. Uh, very easy to get a hold of and second a lot cheaper and that is definitely a big bonus uh, when it comes to Final Cut Pro. So to sum things up I would say that the learning curve for Final Cut is definitely faster. It's easier to learn, easier to grasp than Adobe Premiere. With all its features Adobe Premiere is a beast of a program that can definitely be a bit overwhelming at first but if you have the time to spend to learn it there's so much packed into it that uh, you're probably never going to learn everything within the program. With that said though, Final Cut is also a professional software, maybe just a little bit less intimidating at first. All right, I hope that helped you get started with the editing. This is something that you just have to get started with and then practice, practice, practice. This creative part of the process only really comes with experience, so hopefully now you can pick a video editing software that you think will fit your needs and then start playing around with this. Remember that this is just one video that we have in this whole series. I also want to thank all of our patrons that are helping us, supporting us and making this whole venue possible. So thank you so much for that and see you in another video. What do you find most difficult when it comes to editing? The most difficult on editing is deleting half of the part of the video mm -hmm. and finding out which each video should go in which part. We're talking about editing here. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for your help, man.